So this is the first week of October, and I wouldn't want to be any other place except right here, the Little Powder River Valley. And we're hunting with Blue Rock Outfitters and our friend Mike Zemeck. And I've been coming up here for a long, long time. Okay, here it goes. 300. Got him. You know, this right here, this place is unique. It's special for me. I've been coming here for two decades. And the reason why, well, there's lots of reasons why, but that guy right there is one of the big reasons why. Hi, I'm Mike with Blue Rock Outfitters. <laughs> My name is Mike Zemeck, owner of Blue Rock Outfitters in Northeast Wyoming and Southeast Montana. We outfit for mule deer, whitetail, antelope, and turkeys. So I've been outfitting here in Southeast Montana, Northeast Wyoming for almost 20 years now. And ever since I first started here, I've known Keith. We've hunted together. All right, here goes. You on him? Yep. What do you think Good about that? shooting. What do you think about that? That's how you get her done right there. Man, I'm Bad telling job. you. <laughs> Over the years, I've got to know him more as a person and he's just like on camera as he is off camera. He's genuine and He's become family. Uh, we've known each other over half your life. Yeah, that's I mean, true. <laughs> I mean, it's just unbelievable. I've been coming up here and uh, now I'm passing it on to the next generation, to, to Maddie to come up here with me. And Maddie is the same way. I get to see her every once in a while. Yeah, he's getting broadside. If you want to take the shot, you can. Oh! Good shot. Oh my God! Talk about a tough animal! Yeah. Wow! You know, she fell in love with Mike. I mean, Mike is the kind of guy that every hunter that goes with him falls in love with him. And the reason why is because of his personality, his commitment to making sure that you are happy. You got him, man. Thank you Good so shooting. much. Good shooting. You went down right there. And the cameraman that I've got along with me this time, his name is Johnny Piazza. Johnny's been with me about four years now. And this is Johnny's fourth time actually to come up here to Blue Rock Outfitters. And this time, instead of Johnny being behind the camera, Johnny's gonna be in front of the camera. So I've never hunted antelope before. I always thought that they were really cool animals, but I just never had the opportunity, you know, growing up hunting in Missouri. So I am super excited to be out here with Mike and Keith chasing some antelope bucks. Johnny drew a deer and antelope tag, and I drew a deer and antelope tag. So on this hunt, we've already knocked down two white tails, but that was on a previous show. And if you missed it, you can watch it on our YouTube channel. So the first thing we did we checked zero on our rifles by sticking up the Determinator rifle targets and taking a few shots. That's a wrap. We're done. Beautiful. I love that cartridge. So I'm on deck first antelope hunting. Keith and Mike got together and they said, you're going first. So I was like, all right, that sounds like a plan. The cool thing about hunting antelope in this country, a lot of times you gotta get out there and I mean, you gotta work for it. You know, you're walking up and down hills, you know, you're gonna make a long shot. It's very gratifying when you make one of these shots too, because antelope, antelope got eyes like you won't believe. They've got a really good set of ears and their nose is a whole lot better than what you think. 136. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> what do you think about that, man? That's awesome. That's awesome. When you are out here hunting antelope, you are absolutely making moves and pounding the pavement and covering as much ground as you possibly can, especially right now because it's super dry. These animals are super spread out. So if you're not traveling, there's no way you're going to see enough antelope to get a good understanding of what you got. So we're on the move big time. It is abnormally dry out here this year, isn't it? Yeah, this is the second year of severe drought for us. And I mean, we had a little bit more moisture. Our sagebrush put seed heads on, so that's good winter feed for our animals. But yeah, it's not, not a great year. I mean, it's dusty. I can't believe how dusty it is. Yeah. Everywhere. Oh, hey, right, hey, right there. See him? Yep. That's a nice one, Mike. Yeah, I think you might want to shoot that one. All right. What do you think? A good strategy would be. He has no idea we're here. Okay. It's not that far away. We can just get right up here. 
put the quick shot on them. Perfect. Let's do it. Okay. We'll be real quiet because we don't want to notify him. Yeah. He's 175 yards, I believe. No, he's probably. Let me take that. Let me hold that. Yeah. Blades. Let's just get right up here. If you can set that up when we get up there. Skyliners. Can you get a range on him for me, please? In 70. Okay, he still doesn't know we're here. Yeah. We got time. Okay. All right, so I'm about four inches high at 150, 170, so I'm gonna aim lower fourth. There's the full broadside. You ready, Mike? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> nice job. What do you right say there, the buddy? Heck yeah, congratulations. Th thank you, my man. <laughs> That's what we like to see, folks. He hit the dust right away. No track job whatsoever. Man, that couldn't have gone any better. That's the way guys love it. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Heck yeah. I can't wait to see him. My first antelope, that was awesome. I'll tell you what, hunting out here, is the best covering country like this and getting to see a whole bunch of animals whole bunch of ground but you know what i really want to see is him so yeah you want to go ahead and make our way up there and check him out yep. well my friend you never disappoint good congratulations either to you i appreciate good it shooting. yeah thank you that was an awesome hunt you know we've been driving all day long and you know we're come up out of this little draw and all of a sudden bam mike spots him right away of course he's always the first to spot him and we snuck up the hill here and got down on him and he had no idea we were there and you know set up on him made a good shot dropped him in his tracks man that game changer folks i'll tell you what almost every single animal that keith has shot with that stuff drops right there it's awesome isn't it keith you never have to worry about tracking his game yeah you never have to worry about tracking and this is an awesome antelope this is my first antelope ever and to get a buck like this on my first shot is awesome. And he's even got these cool little... Yeah, he's got extra little nubbins growing out the sides and he's got really nice cutters. Yeah. And that's what, that's what first sold it for me when I seen him. Was the cutters. He's got nice cutters, yep. Yeah. Well, I always trust you, Mike. <laughs> You're the man and I appreciate you having us out here. You know, I've been filming you for the past three years and then to get to come out here and hunt was just an awesome experience. So I appreciate it very much. Definitely. Let's go ahead and get this guy packed up because folks, we've got one more antelope to kill. Keith's on deck and we got some time to do it. Yep. Hopefully we can make it happen. So Thanks buddy. Heck yeah. You the man. You are the man. The cool thing about hunting antelope in this country is that there's enough break in the terrain that you can come up. You'll see a new bunch of ground that you haven't seen before. And the antelope, because it's broken terrain up and down, the antelope will tuck behind some of those hills where you pull up on a hill and all of a sudden they're right there in front of you. So Johnny just wound up shooting an antelope a little bit ago and we took care of it. And it's hot and dry and windy and I'm on deck now. Uh, the wind is actually helping because it's helping camouflage our sound as we drive over these little hills. Mike is over here on a spotting scope right now. We've got some antelope out here, probably at about a thousand yards, and one looks like a pretty good buck, but he's gonna gauge him over there with the spotting scope, see if he's worth going after or not. All right, so Mike, what do you got? Well, the best one's got his cutters broke off. He's tall, he's narrow, but, or thin, but his cutters are broke off. Then there's two little spiker ones. Then there's a pretty one that's got nice curls and nice cutters, but he's just too young. A couple more years and he'll be a really good one. Okay. You're the guide. Onward. Okie dokie. You don't guide the guide. dry year like we have this year water little oasis is like this hold all the game so you can definitely see all the antelope tracks usually in this country if you're within a mile of water that's where your best hunting is going to be that's a pretty buck mm-hmm 
couple more years and he'll be a really good one. He's just young. He's just not old enough. He needs another year, maybe two. But that's one reason why you've got good antelope here because you tell people hold off. Antelope are such neat animals. I mean, you got to give them credit. They live in some pretty tough country. And uh, I mean, they can run faster than you could ever imagine. You know, the, the cool thing about hunting them out of a truck is you get to see lots of groups of antelope. And uh, we may spot them a mile off, a mile and a half off. And Mike's always got that spotting scope so he can actually see if they're worth going after. Oh, he's a little guy. Yep, someday. I don't want to shoot a young one. I won't shoot a young one. Yeah, if he was two inches longer, he wouldn't be standing there like that. Yeah, he's got all the makings to be a good one, but he's just, everything's just a little bit too small on him. Yeah, killing some girls with him, though. Mm-hmm, lucky guy. Yep, marking his territory there. We're not having a hard time finding antelope, but we are having a hard time finding one that meets my criteria. And what I'm looking for is just a nice, mature buck. Quite a few antelope down here in this valley. There's one or two really nice ones. They're way down on the bottom. There's yeah. one lone buck yep. back over that ridge. Do you see him already? Yeah. He's walking this way? Yeah. He's not any good? No. Okay. okay. Damn gum it. I, I know. Sorry. <laughs> I, I thought he was fixing to go tuck down behind that ridge. You won't see him. Yeah, I found a good one. Kind of what we're looking for. He's a good mature buck. He's got probably average length. He's got some curl to him. Nice cutters. Give them a little bit of time, they're gonna move off over this hill and we might be able to get, get in closer on them. See if we can make a move. So antelope, for the most part, they're always on the move. You can count on that. So we see that group from way up above, but they're a long ways down there. So we're gonna fly down to the bottom and catch them before they get out of there. Yep, <laughs> you right over there, shouldn't they? Yeah, they're gonna be right over this hill right here. We spotted these antelope from way up there on that hill, and they ought to be. Right here on the other side of this little ridge right here. I don't think we'll be too far if they didn't move too much. Let's give her a whirl. Let's see what happens. Grab the Kofi Anger if you would, please. The cool thing about this country is it's broken. You rise up, you can see everything. Four sixteen. Talk to me, Johnny. I'm on it. <laughs> One seventy. I'm gonna punch in a little more. They're not gonna hold. We win. Okay. I'm on him. Stop. Here it goes. There you go. You ready? Done. He's not going nowhere. Got him. <laughs> another one. Another nice one. job. Yeah, I don't know how many antelope we've done <laughs> this on, but I can't. I can't get enough antelope hunting. They are absolutely cool, and they are wonderful to eat. They're a challenge. And uh, that one right there is graveyard dead. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's going nowhere. Let me show you what I like about antelope. Come on. Grab the coffee here, please, sir. Got her. All right, so here's what he looks like. A nice, mature pronghorn. He's a really good looking buck. Good curls, good cutters. Kind of what everybody's looking for. 
I mean, take a look at that. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. I mean, we spent a lot of time driving around. We saw a lot of different bucks. And uh, this group, we actually saw this guy in. We saw him from, how far away would you say that was? Three quarters of a mile. <laughs> yeah, it was a long way off. If you take a good close look at what an antelope looks like up close, I mean, he's beautiful. His face is dark. Of course, he's got real big eyes and the peripheral vision on an antelope is, is exceptional. The horns are actually, it's hair. And, and every year they come off because these are horns and they're just really cool animals. And Mike's been guiding me for a long, long time. And if you want more information about coming out here to Blue Rock Outfitters, now this is the first week of October. It's the opening week of rifle deer and antelope season. Give them a phone number. You can reach me at 308-550-1136. And folks, he will get it done for you. Thank you. He's been getting it done for people for many, many years. And I'm telling you right now, I'll be back year after year after year. This has been another great hunt up at Blue Rock. You know, uh, it's a hunt that I look forward to every single year. I'll be here next year, and the year after that, year after that, good Lord willing. And the reason why is not because of the beautiful country, and not because there's so many animals, but it's because of the relationship that I've built with Mike Zemeck. So I've known Keith for a long, long time. Um, when I first got started, you know, he was a role model of mine. I looked up to him in the outdoors. He's, a, he's one of the main faces of the outdoors. But I've got to hunt with him for year after year after year. And now he's become more than just somebody that comes out hunting, he's become family. And that's why I've had Keith and the High Road out here for so many years. To share in the outdoors, the love of the outdoors, and just to have a good time with them. I love being around people with passion, people that love doing what they do. And you know, Keith and Mike, they are those people for sure. Let me tell you about Keith. He has more passion for what we do than anybody I've ever seen have with anything. And that's been passed on to me now. And I, I really enjoy getting to be a part of this and to work with him and to learn from him because we really do have a good time in the outdoors. You know, and, and there's nothing better, there's nothing that'll bring you closer together than going hunting with somebody. Uh, so getting to come out here and share that passion with them and make those memories and take my first antelope, that is just one of the best things out there. You know, just spending time with people you care about in the outdoors and having a good time. I think I was born to do what I do. I love every single thing about the outdoors. I think if somebody told me that, that I couldn't go outdoors, I think I'd die. This is where I belong. I love the outdoors. And I think, you know, the passion that is inside me, I wanna, I wanna encourage more people to love the outdoors, not take a day for granted. You know, we are very blessed to live in a country that, we're, that we live in. Yeah, we got problems, but you know what? It's still the best country on earth. And we've got wildlife. We've got private landowners that take care of the wildlife. We've got conservation groups like SEI. And I think when you combine all this stuff up with my passion, I am the luckiest guy on earth to be able to stand here right now in our country doing what I do. And I don't take a day for granted and I don't take y'all for granted. So if y'all uh, y'all want to reach out to me, I'd love to hear from you. You can get a hold of me on Facebook or Instagram or shoot me an email and I will get back with you. It may take me a while. I tell people I'm as hard to catch a 10 pound trout, but you know what? People catch 10 pound trout every day.